Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best USB hubs. Starting at number 5. Anchor 577 Docking. Anchor's 577 Power Expand Elite 13 in 1 Thunderbolt 3 Dock is a great Titan Ridge docking station for Intel based Thunderbolt and USB C laptops, with lots of top rated ports in a compact, good looking case. Unfortunately, it doesn't play nicely with the newer M1 and M2 MacBooks, which rules out all recent Macs. It is a serious contender for the crown of the best Thunderbolt 3 dock. The Caldigit TS3 Plus boasts one more USB-A port, but the Anchor has one faster USB-C port plus the ability to also work with non-Thunderbolt USB-C laptops. All the Power Expand Elite's ports are top-end, both USB-C ports, for example, are Gen 2 at 10 gigabits per second, whereas some docks boast just 5 gigabits per second C-type ports. The on-off button at the front is a nice touch we haven't seen on other docks, and there's really nothing except price to distinguish it from the other recommended docking stations we have tested. In the battle of the Titan Ridge hybrid docks, the Anchor wins on a cute compact design and quantity of ports, including two fast USB-C ports as well as two TB3. Coming at number 4. Kensington SD5700T the Kensington SD5700T Thunderbolt for docking station has everything a dock should have, 4 TB4 ports, 3 fast USB-A and 1 slow one, that at least boasts 7.5W charging power compared to the faster USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports 4.5W, Gigabit Ethernet, SD card reader, and 3.5mm audio jack. At 180W, the power supply is high but not as great as found on the Caldigit TS4. It's essential if you are powering multiple devices connected to the dock. And the on-off power button, rare on docks, means you can give the laptop batteries rest when you're away. There are useful lights telling you when the dock is powered and when it's connected. A variant model, the Kensington SD5780T dock, available in the US only, drops one of the three downstream Thunderbolt 4 ports in favor of an HDMI 2.1 but costs an extra $50. At number 3. Caldigit TS4 Thunderbolt. With 18 top-rated ports in Thunderbolt 4 certified, it's difficult to look past the Caldigit Thunderbolt Station 4, aka TS4. Yes, it's expensive, but it's an impressive docking stay-in. It compares well to the Sonnet Echo 20 with just one fewer port, the Echo 20's integrated SSD enclosure. For port speeds the TS4 matches the Echo 20, and it boasts the highest power supply, a whopping 230W to be spread among the ports, including a front-mounted 20W USB-C and 98W laptop PD charging, that we've seen on any dock that we've tested. We also love this dock's flexible vertical or horizontal format. As with the Echo 20, while you can use Thunderbolt ports to add external displays, Caldigit swaps one of the downstream TB4 ports for a dedicated video port, in this case, DisplayPort. You'll need an adapter if your monitor requires HDMI. You can add up to two 4K displays at 60Hz or a single 8K screen at 60Hz. Number 2 of my list. Satechi Dual USB. Another dock with an SSD enclosure is the Satechi Dual Dock Stand that doubles up as an open MacBook stand that raises the keyboard to a more comfortable angle. Unlike the Thunderbolt for Sonnet Echo 20, reviewed above, this is a USB-C dock with a 10 gigabits per second rather than 40 gigabits per second bandwidth, but it's significantly cheaper as a result. The MSRP of the Satechi Dual Dock Stand is $150 which is a very reasonable price for a dual 4K 60Hz USB-C docking station. With one DisplayPort 1.4 and two HDMI 2.0 ports, you can connect up to two 4K displays in extended mode at a decent 60Hz refresh rate. The Echo 20 has just one video port. Although that port is the superior HDMI 2.1, you have to add a second external screen via one of the Thunderbolt ports, which will require an adapter. And number one. 
Sonnet Echo 20. Boasting an impressive 19 top-rated ports, Thunderbolt 4 certified and with a bonus storage feature, the Sonnet Echo 20 Thunderbolt Superdock offers remarkable value for money. It has the most ports and equals the fastest ports seen in the market. Its nearest competitor is the excellent Caldigit TS4, reviewed below. Sonnet clearly targeted the TS4 and the specs are remarkably similar, but the cheaper Echo 20 has a useful SSD enclosure that means you can add up to 8 terabytes of internal storage via the dock. If you don't need this feature and prefer DisplayPort to HDMI, or you need the most powerful ports on offer, the TS4 is still a great contender, although it costs a fair amount more. The Satechi Dual Dock Stand, reviewed below, is a cheaper non-Thunderbolt option. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.